Uh, welcome to Home Tiny Lab. Uh, in this video, we are going to reset the root password of uh, an XCPNG host. We are not going to change it, we are going to reset it if you're in the case that you have forgotten your root password of your XCPNG host. And I'm going to do this in a nested uh, XCPNG host so that I don't have to uh, show this on my production XCPNG host. So let's have a look. So what are we seeing here? We are in Xen Orchestra and we are connected to my uh, XCPNG virtualized host. So if we take a closer look and we go to host, you see here my XCPNG host where everything is running on. And if we click on our XCPNG host and I click on the number of virtual machines that are running, we are seeing that three machines are running. My Xen Orchestra Community Edition that I'm using now, a PyOl that I have always running when I am using my home lab, and then my XCPNG host that's running on my XCPNG host. And with this one, I am going to show how you can reset your password. So if I click on my XCPNG, and I go to the console, you will see what you are going, what you normally see at your console of your XCPNG host. I am reprodu reproducing what you also can find in the XCPNG documentation. If you go to the X XCPNG documentation and you go to the troubleshooting section, there is reset root password. And this is the procedure that we are going to execute. So the first thing that we will have to do is reboot the XCPNG into grab boot menu and then press the E key to edit what we are going to use as parameters to boot into the XCPNG host. So let's go back to uh, our nested XCPNG host and we are going to force uh, a reboot. Okay. Console, I typed E when it was showing the boot menu. So let's make this a little bit bigger. What we are going to look for is the, the read only parameter. So if you're following here down all the lines, then you will see here the read only parameter. This one we want to change. And in what do we have to change this? We have to change this in read write <clears throat> and then put afterwards the init, this is the state where it has to boot in, equal to forward slash this root bin. sh um, we cannot save this we are going to continue to continue the boot uh, by con by pressing ctrl x so ctrl x booting a command list and we will enter now in the emergency prompt normally so once we are in um, single mode or emergency mode prompt, we have to change root into sysroot. So this is done. And then we can change now the password at whatever we want to use. So the command is passwd to change the password. And you can enter now the password that you want for root. Let's make a simple password. One, two, three, four. Uh, it has to be eight characters. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So the password failed the dictionary test, but it can be used as a demo, not in production. 
So now that the password has been changed, we can. And now the control all delete to reboot the system. So you click on the keyboard here. If you're on your console, type directly control all delete and OK. Let it boot now. Normally. Let's make the screen a little bit bigger. So here we go. Okay. So now we are in the normal screen that you got when you're uh, in your XCP and Geos directly connected. And we are going to try to see if the new password works. So local, local command shell. So here we have to enter now the new password that we have chosen. And it was one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then enter. And we are now in uh, as root again in our, with our new password. So this was a, uh, Quick overview on how you can reset your XCPNG host password, root password. So this is uh, normally something that rarely happens, but I imagine that you can forget your password if you are not always using your virtualization environment or when you are using it uh, through Xen Orchestra. Because once you have authenticated with Xen Orchestra, you never have to enter again your root password. After long usage, it can be possible that you have forgotten your password. So I hope that this video was instructive. Um, if you liked it, don't forget to give it a like, a thumbs up. And if you want to see other content like this, don't forget to subscribe. See you in the next video.